With less than a month left of school, CMS transportation continues to have major disruptions and it's leaving kids stranded at schools. And some parents at Myers Park High School received a message from the district 30 minutes before school let out that there was no driver for one of its buses and kids would have to figure out a different way home. WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison shows us what the school says is behind it. I'm told by some parents that Myers Park, which is just behind me, is not the only school who are experiencing these bus disruptions. Parents at a recent board meeting shared their stories of buses being hours late and some not coming at all. I received the following message from Myers Park. Due to an unforeseen circumstance, bus 974 does not have a driver. Please connect with your student regarding their plan to get home from school today. We asked CMS if it could confirm if this has happened at four other schools. How often has this happened this year? And how is CMS addressing this logistically or budgetary? They didn't answer our question directly, but said in a statement, the district quote acknowledges that bus driver vacancies have caused severe disruptions and delays for students and families. We also wanted to know why were families notified so late? CMS saying, quote, transportation area offices notify impacted schools as soon as they have a coverage plan. This doesn't account for any last minute call outs by our bus mechanical breakdowns. All this happens in real time and schools are notified as soon as area office officials are aware of any issues. Parents are asking how CMS is going to balance current transportation mishaps with future plans to rezone thousands of students out of their current neighborhood to schools miles away. The bus driver shortage is real. It's been a long term issue and it's now a nationwide problem. This means that there will be no workable solution for years to come. The district says its transportation leaders are working closely with area managers across the district each day to ensure minimal service disruptions. But some parents say they've had a whole school year to get it right. The district is ending the school year with more vacancies than when they started in August. Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.